What's up guys? Today I want to talk about my 2019 Sportsman High Lifter. I love this bike. It's it's really, really, really doing its thing. Uh, it's a very powerful unit. Yeah! Woo! That's for sure. I mean, it's this thing just seems like it creeps through most stuff. Now remind yourself, this thing is stock, minus the exhaust and sorb. So you got to give this a lot of credit, regardless. And driver mod. Right. Get rid of beans. Oh, baby. I think I might have skipped over that one. You went around it. Oh, <laughs> I went around it. That's my joke to him. Oh, she's going. She's going. Hammer down, son. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it so far. Now, let's talk about what all we got done to it not much right here we got the warrior riser snorkel extensions we've got us a harbor freight special 3500 pound winch the winch came with the uh the remote for the handlebar all right it just adds a little more fuel for the exhaust so the bike's not lean it's not really a tuner and then we have the big gun ecosystem exhaust which I'm running it right now without the quiet core because the quiet core these little holes fill up with mud so then you have that hole and that's all that's letting the exhaust out when you're out bogging so that's a that's kind of a beef that I have with the quiet core but it does make it nicer to ride in the neighborhood and of course we've got the good old tiger tail there so, as you can tell I don't clean it very well <laughs> this thing has paid for itself a bunch of times to the back rack I've got two one two of these uh, Apache 1800 boxes and I just leave one layer in the bottom so I can stick my GoPro batteries in them and uh, I just clear out two layers they've stayed completely dry so I mean it's been really good that way Check out the new shirts. Got the logos. Got the channel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're rocking it. Oh man, I almost forgot about the mud strap. It's a Can-Am mud strap. Polaris, you're ridiculous. This is $40, not $100, okay? Just saying, you're ridiculous. All right, so let's talk about this bike a little bit. I bought this bike, um, I've got, I think, like 300 miles on it. It's got 66.1 hours and 414 miles on it. And I put every bit of that on here. I bought it brand spanking new. It's still brand spanking new in my book. I mean, we ride, though. We ride hard. I think you guys should check out this link right here and see how this thing does up against a, a similar Can-Am. Not the XMR, but... I don't have anybody with the XMR. I'd love to go stock for stock with the XMR. I think I just freaking wipe the floor with it, honestly. I'm really, really happy with my purchase. Um, 
it was like I want to say it was it was maybe like five thousand dollars less than the 850 XMR and this thing actually has four-wheel drive all four tires spin I don't have to do nothing extra to it I did the snorkel extensions I never drown my bike I've never I just kind of like the snorkel extensions um, and it's just an extra safety because you spend so much money on a bike you drown it and then you got to spend so much more to rebuild the motor and all that stuff bent rods just it's not good so snorkels exhaust um, the little fuel unit and winch and tiger tail that's seriously everything that's done to this bike and uh, I've been going up against uh, my buddy Josh that you guys have seen it really seems to to work well he's got he's got a lift kit on his bike he's got 29.5 assassinators these are the 29.5 outlaw twos um, those assassinators are nasty I really love to have some they look really good and they they work really good but um, He's just working out some bugs right now where he just put a torque locker in the front trying to gain four-wheel drive and all of a sudden, bam, bam. One ride broke both front axles. Um, not really sure what's going on with that yet, but a little birdie told me that there might be a stronger axle on the way. Um, but this bike can hang stock. Um, I mean, that's... You know the gear it's got a little bit lower gear in it it's got you know uh, the radiator relocate on it I really like this setup it's ugly okay I don't disagree it's ugly but it's functional it works better than the rest in my opinion all I have to do is go through water if I get mud in my radiator I go in water mud gets underneath okay put it in four-wheel drive water wheelie turn the wheels cleans the radiator out it's a done deal I can keep riding for the day so, anyhow, uh, yeah, that's that's about it for right now. I, I'm just really, really happy with this bike. Uh, I wish it was, I do wish that it was like a Can-Am with the fuel tank in the back so I could just wheelie everywhere. You know, um, it's 79, I think 79 horsepower um, new. So whatever the whatever the exhaust added, which it feels like it added quite a bit, 79, 80, you know, 90 horsepower and a little four wheeler, it's a lot. It's a lot. So anyhow, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this short video. I'm gonna throw in some a few little extra bogging clips right now of my competition. <laughs>